Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. This game came out in 2003, and it's an action-adventure game that is loosely inspired by Egyptian mythology. Well, it's at least Egyptian mythology flavor. We'll get into that in a bit. I actually remember this game from back in the day, you know, seeing it around at stores and such, but I never played it myself. And since this, uh, predates YouTube, I never saw any footage of it either. So, uh, it's kind of neat to be able to come back all these years later and, you know, find out what it was like. So yes, this is going to be a blind LP. I did step into the very first area in order to get some readings on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. Now without further ado, let's play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Yes, please. Well, they're uh, not wasting any time, are they? They're really throwing us in at the deep end. I mean, we're like 45 seconds in and we're already off to the land of demons. Yes, that is the infamous castle of Uruk. You might remember it from the main menu. Fair enough. I don't think the bird guy's mouth is also supposed to be moving. I don't know what's up with that. Thanks, purple monkey guy. So I gotta say, now that I'm in control, right off the bat, I was a little concerned by how quickly things kicked off there. You know, like I said, this is the first chance I've gotten to actually take control of anything except to hit A to progress the text, and here we are in the land of darkness. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, you know, I kind of get a Zelda vibe from this game. Okay, get up there. And, uh... I don't know, it's just... Most of the games like that, they spend some time building up... You know, setting up the scene and the characters, and you at least know who the hell is who before you're thrown right into the adventure. I mean, Legend of K had a, a lot of rough edges, but even that one set up uh, the village before having you set out to save the world. Charming place. Neat. So I did notice an odd thing about these in the uh, testing. Uh, oh no, it doesn't do it if you just drop them. But if you throw them... They just break. Oh, you didn't see it because I was looking away, but... Uh, Yeah, just magics up a new rock. I would like to point out that that was the first time any character in this game has been referred to by name. Aw, oh, jeez, aw, oh, shit. See, I'm calling it. I feel like Bird Dude is going to become evil at some point. I'm going to be honest, that's mostly going by his uh, sinister eyes. But he does have a bird head, so it is possible he just has resting raptor face. Oh. Why in God's name would I want to do that? What even am I? I guess he's got the lion tail because... Well, I guess I should finish that thought. Uh, I said that this game might be Egyptian mythology flavored rather than, you know, inspired by Egyptian mythology. Because, uh, here is our protagonist, his name is Sphinx. Hello. And, uh... Right off the bat, that's a little bit off, because... In Egyptian mythology, a sphinx is a monster. It's a creature with a head of a beautiful human woman and the body of a lion. And uh, great big wings, too. They like to sit by the side of the road and uh, ask passers-by riddles. If you get them right, pass on by. If you get them wrong, you get devoured. So I'm thinking that the reason he's got this... Oh, jeez. The reason he's got this hat... I think this isn't part of his head... His headdress thing is so that he looks more like a sphinx. Ditto with a lion tail. But, you know, I'm not really sure what's going on here yet. Because, uh... Jeez. It's the first episode. Now we're ready. We've hit the forbidden topic. Like two people are going to get that joke. Thank God, I'm not a nudist. Yes, this right here, this is as far as I went during testing. I wanted to try something. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what that was, but I'll assume it's a good thing. Okay, coconuts. Uh... Hmm. 
Oops, strong dude on. You got a coconut! Start, no. Yeah, that's more like it. Coconuts are a favorite food of the spitting toad. Lava toads have been known to assist adventurers in exchange for these prized delicacies. That's a toad? Where I come from, we call that a, uh, a dragon. Your first quest is to find the long-lost Blade of Osiris. This powerful weapon disappeared long ago in the inhospitable landscape around the castle of Uruk. I guess I have to hit select again to get out of here. Actually, wait, let's see if I can just give him this one. I was wondering about that! I guess it's not, uh, like a tattoo or just natural skin coloration. I was really hoping there'd be, at the very least, an animation where I throw it into his mouth. I'm assuming it's male. I apologize for that. In case you are considered, like, a sexy female by the standards of your, uh, species. Okay, let's get some coconuts. Uh, I already hit that tree. Let's try... Is that the one I blew up? Maybe. Well, it made it go away for a while, and that's important. What the... Mm. I guess he won't throw it if he's standing too close to it, right? Even if I hit the right button. Ah, oh, God, it's a snake! Ooh, it's a snake! I don't have any attacks, so I don't know what to do with that guy. Oh, that's right, I can get up there from over here! Is that guy still over there? No, that's my tail. Um... Huh, I guess he just fucked off. No, no! Oh, that's his plan. Okay, here is another tree, so... I'll just use this rock. Is there are no coconuts in that one? Now that's a problem for me. Because if I throw them, they break, and I can't jump while carrying them. Oh, there is one over there. Fair enough. Oh, shit. That's fairly generous. I only took a hit of damage. I'm a little careful about this. I noticed a, a screen in my menu here. Uh, yeah, these. Uh, standard currency to need to purchase many items. Rare currency found only in the castle of Uru. Um, that was not the thing I picked up. That did not go up. Okay, so this is kind of awkward. I can't just hit up from here to go back up to the top area. I have to hit left, then go back up here, and then scroll around. And no sign of... you currently have no monsters. No sign of that snake I found. Uh, so it doesn't have one, right? I don't need to like hit it multiple times. That's not what I need to do. Let's just give him these uh, coconuts and see what happens. I'm eager to see other areas of this game than this one. Yep, 
You know, if it weren't for the fact that he had already rejected me for my clothing flavor, uh, I don't think I'd take him up on that offer. Oh, good. This is happening. I will do exactly as you say, because I think it's funny. Well, I did not... Alright. There was a seam at this point, but all you missed is me explaining that I'm not actually in control of aiming the worm. I just hit the button when it's lined up where I want to go. Let's try as high as I go. Nicely done, Sphinx. So, I've, yeah, oh. Sinister eyes, like I said. The blood of Ra. I got a solution. Wait, did he say Master Imhotep? Huh. I, uh, should mention, I don't really know that much about Egyptian mythology from Yuton. So, if this is like one-to-one -one from Egyptian mythology, I'm not going to know. I just have a hunch that what they did was just make an original story and pepper it with names from Egyptian mythology. Shit. I still haven't gotten this guy's name either. It's in I seem to be only able to communicate in Rai smirks. Ah, oh, refreshing. Sorry about that. Let me see. Anything in here about that? Nope. So I guess this is not a permanent ability or anything. I'm gonna guess that I have to head down here. Oh god, oh god, this feels weird. And I got, like, 30 years of video game uh, experience telling me not to go into lava. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe it's only forward and backward. Can I grab it from this angle? No. Oh! Oh no, incre increase lava flow. I'll give it that you this. I suddenly have a reason to... You know, want to walk on that. I guess I have to go back to the uh, worm. This is really dramatic music, considering nothing is really happening yet. I don't even have a weapon. Oh god! Disaster averted. Blim. Thank you, friend. Lock it in. Oh. I 
bird really likes that spot. Nicely done! And now another. All I need to know. Drop! Hurry! Oh god! Close enough! Hello? No, can't talk to you. Can't really blame you, just doing your job. Uh, okay, I see that I needed to go down onto this. I do not see why. Can't keep it on camera. Stop scrolling back down. What am I, like, stealthing uh, this guy? Yeah, okay. Well, I have a hunch. Yeah. Blarg. Defeated! Cool guys, don't look at explosions. I would have made that stand out more. Is there a rock out here? Do I have to go back and get the one in the cave? Oh, this looks ominous. Thank you. Here you go. Yeah. I don't like you immediately. Although, to be honest, I thought it was talking at first, because it looks like it could be intelligent enough in this game. Come get some, big man. I don't like that they just seem to automatically know where I am. I did a thing! I guess I jump across. But hey, made it to a new area. And, uh, the timer has gone, so, uh, I guess I'll call it here. That was weird. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. When we uh, head across the river and see what our bird headed friend uh, has to tell us. Later!